Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? Unicorn Ranger back here for another episode of the Master Ranger playthrough. I've done a good amount of grinding since the last episode, so we can get some stuff to do in today's episode. Most of which involve this. And also, I got myself some decent reforges. We've got Rapid on the Chain Gun, and we've got Unreal on both the Snowman Cannon and the Elf Melter. I'm very, very interested to give these weapons a proper go in today's episode. But, first of all, what we need to do is we need to make ourselves a little bit of an area for some slimes to die. This should be relatively straightforward in that we grab this timer here, we place down some lava. Yep, rather like that. Absolutely fantastic. And then we also need ourselves a wrench so we can wire it all up. I don't know why I didn't buy that since the last episode, but here we are. Better late than never and all that, eh? Okay, now we just switch it on and there we have it. Well, that actually takes a fair while for them to die. What I'm hoping is that the gel doesn't just flat out dissipate. Ah, it seems to be. Which indicates to me that the lava is actually too deep. What if we were to spread out the lava just a little bit more? Hey, there we are. Oh, the time has disappeared. Oh, man. That's kind of frustrating, actually, because I need to make myself another watch to be able to make another timer. All right, there we are. Another one second timer. Let's see if we can't do this properly this time. I mean, I still don't understand. Oh, it has to be placed upon a surface. Right. So let's try that again, shall we? We'll put the timer here. We will link it up to the slime statue. And bada bing, bada boom. Just like that, the slimes are meeting their demise in the lava again. So yeah, this is going to be constantly running while we're doing other things in today's episode. It means that we're going to have an infinite supply of gel. It's going to be a slow start. But, you know, once we start doing other stuffs and then we come back here later on in the episode, there should be, like, multiple hundreds of bits of gel. So yeah, very good. Very, very good indeed, in fact. We got ourselves a gel farm. So then, what do we want to do in today's episode? I was thinking of doing another event. The Martian Madness event. There are, I think, two weapons that we can get as a ranger from it. You can get the Xeno Popper and the Electrosphere Launcher. And depending on how that goes, maybe, just maybe, it might be time to try and grab ourselves some prismatic lace wings. So let's see if we can't do ourselves a favor here, folks. We are going to make for ourselves a battle potion. We are also going to grab for ourselves maybe a water candle from somewhere. We're going to see if we can't maximize the spawn rates over by our hallow over here. So while we do this, of course, I just want to say a massive thank you for all of your lovely support throughout this series and these episodes here. Of course, if you want to continue supporting this series, dropping a like is by far the best and easiest way to support this series. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with the support, of course, you can head on over to pythongb.com slash PC to check out my range of gaming PCs. Or if you're more in the market for some Terraria merch, head on over to terraria.shop and use code Python for a whopping 15% off. Oh, hell no, 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 I'm not ready yet. No, 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 not just yet Terraria. <laughs> Gonna have to make myself a proper little custom house. Hello, Dairy. There's too much other stuff going on here. Yeah, it ain't looking good, is it, folks? I really do think there's too much going on here. So I think in this next upcoming day, what we're probably going to wind up doing is we're probably going to do the Martian Madness event then. And then on the next night, yeah, prismatic lace wings. Why do I feel like it's so rare for me to get a world where there's an actually decently sized hallowed biome. I mean, I guess you could say it's because we're only using a small world here. And to be honest, me doing these playthroughs has really made me appreciate just how useful large worlds are. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so many upsides to having a large world. And um, actually not that many downsides when you think about it. I mean, now that we have the pylon system, yeah, you don't really have to worry about having to navigate around. Just so long as you prepare to build, yeah, you're pretty much good. All right, let's chuck in our gel supply, shall we? No way, is there only 15? What the hell? I'm really confused. You guys definitely did just see that, right? Only 15 bits of gel? 
Could it be that the lava is still a little bit too deep or something? All right, if we're going to be making a little mini custom hallowed biome thingy, we should probably make sure we've got the materials for it. Pearl stone blocks. We need ourselves some dirty dirt. We're going to need ourselves a bunch of hallowed seeds and then a bunch of hallowed trees because I don't know about you guys, but I always find that the prismatic lace rings, they seem to spawn around hallowed trees. I don't know if there's any, you know, truth to that, but it's what I I've noticed over the years. You know what? I'm going to do something completely crazy. We are going to make our custom hallowed biome out here. Why? Uh, because why not? <laughs> totally not because of the whole I can physically see the enemy spawning in thing. Totally not that at all. Pretty sure I know the answer to this already, but can we or can we not buy hallowed seeds from the dryad no matter what biome she's in? Oh, you can? Wow. Okay, well, in which case, we better put on our greedy ring so we can save just a little bit of dosh. Uh, get ourselves 100 seeds, because that's the amount of dirt I placed down. And then we're pretty much good. I'm starting to think that this gel farm doesn't work when you're not at the base. Only I went to the ocean just now and stayed there for like a good minute to put down those seeds. And then I came back and there was just no gel at all. Ah, that's kind of unfortunate if so. Oh, well, doesn't matter a great deal. We're still going to get a good amount of gel just, you know, while we're hanging around the base, organizing our inventory, doing all that kind of jazz, you know. So, yeah, it's all good. Right, I need to make myself some fertilizer. And the way we do that, of course, is by pooping. So what do we think? Is it finally time to make the almighty terror toilet? <laughs> I think it may be. There it is. <laughs> Seriously, this is what you use the broken hero saw for? I mean, when you're playing as a ranger and there's no terror-related ranger weapons, yeah, I'm gonna do it. What are you gonna do about it, devs? Huh? <laughs> All right, so we just gotta consume some food, go into stealth mode so it looks like our food is hovering over us. And then we just sort of play the waiting game. All right, very good. 141 bits of poo. I mean, that should be enough to be getting on with, right? Uh, we need ourselves, I think it's ash blocks and some bones. Excellent. There it is. Three bits of poo, three bones, three ash blocks. Should be able to make a good amount with that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go make a hallowed forest, shall we? And now time to speed grow this forest. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is how the pros roll, folks. Boom. Do a little bit of that. Make sure there's not any wood too close by. And that will allow my forest to be nice and dense. And just like that, we have a homemade hallowed forest. And oh, man, does it look Good. Well, my friends, I was going to do the Martian Madness event today, but I didn't get round to it. Apologies for that, but uh, we will get round to it in today's episode. Don't even fret about it. Let's get ourselves one of these bad boys placed out. I'm going to put another one sort of at the edge here as well, just to ensure that all of this area is encompassed by the vastly increased spawn rates. And yeah, by the looks of it, it's working very nicely. <laughs> oh, no way. A blessed apple. Oh, that is so cool. Hey, pirate maps. I forgot we're going to get those from here as well, huh? We're getting so many drops I didn't even realize I could get. Is it just me who finds it hilarious physically seeing the enemy spawn in only for them to like die within literally a couple of seconds? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, time to go crazy mode. Let's activate this bad boy. Oh, man. Is this going to work out for us? I don't know. All I want to do is uh, grab these fellas. Look at that. We've already got one. Wow, this might have actually been a really friggin' good idea. How about that, huh? Would you have ever thought I'd come up with a good idea? Eh? Look at it, dude. There's another one. There's three in literally like the first 30 seconds of this here nighttime. We're going to wind up. With so many prismatic lace wings. Ah, oh, there's another one. Thank you very much. Normally, I feel like I'd be lucky just getting like three to five prismatic lace wings. But here we are. We've got, what, six so far? We're not even halfway up to midnight from when the night first started as well. That's absolutely ludicrous. Oh, hell no. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. 
I'll be honest with you, folks. I did not, under any circumstances, mean to do that. Uh, I mean, let's see what we can do. Just going to do a dashy, and then we're going to roll over this way. We should probably get rid of the battle potion effect. Ah, oh, man. I genuinely wasn't supposed to do this right now. Oh, God. All the lines. The lines! All the lines! I can't believe we're surviving this so far. I am in no sense prepared for this. But it might actually turn out to be the case where I, I actually am. I've got the buffs. I've got the gear. And I've got semi-decent weaponry. Well, not semi-decent weaponry. Very decent weaponry. You know? This is just, like, brilliant, actually. The only thing is, we seem to be hitting non-grab quite a lot. Which, needless to say, is less than ideal. However, ladies and gentlemen, check it out! Can you believe this? We're actually about to hit second phase! And this is completely accidental, by the way. Ah, oh, hell. Okay, 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 and okay. Okay, 49,000 health. If we manage to do this when we weren't even supposed to do it, then you guys have got to drop a like, okay? That is the deal that I am striking up with you! Oh! Wow. I am in disbelief that I still am still alive. Still am still alive. That's some great grammar right there, Python. You big old goofball. Ah, oh, jeez, more lines! Uh, okay, okay. I'll tell you what, the homing projectiles... Oh, man, are they doing the job? Very, very nicely, in fact. 20,000, 19,000, 18, 17, 16, 15. Yeah. I can't believe this. I think we might actually be able to do this. <laughs> oh! Wow! 4,000. Oh, if we get the event tide first time rolling. Oh, dude, we did it! If I get the event tide first time rolling, then clearly this episode was built for me. Boom! Ah, can you imagine though? That really would have been quite something though, eh? There we go. We just took down the Empress of Light when we weren't actually supposed to. Um. <laughs> we did it! Oh my goodness me! <laughs> oh, what can I say? The power of the snowman cannon and its associated homing rocket projectiles of epicness. Better still, we've got six more attempts at the Empress of Light if we really are wanting to get the event tied. So, yeah, I am absolutely, I'm elated with that. I really am. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next upcoming day is going to be another mini event extravaganza. We have ourselves a snow globe and we have ourselves the ability to get ourselves Martian probe sort of dude spawn in, right? So... Why don't we go ahead and start taking those poor saps out? I mean, why not, right? In fact, let's start off with the Frost Legion right now, simply because we can. And yeah, we'll get that done and out of the way, just to say we've done it. And then, yeah, we'll get them with the Martian dudes, yeah? Oh, hello! Hey! What is Snow's most mortal enemy? Flames. Although then again, technically, these are like ice flames. Does that work? I don't know. Maybe I'm giving these guys frostburn. I'm giving snow creatures frostburn. That makes no logical sense whatsoever. But then again, what actually does make logical sense in this game, eh? I think that's one of the reasons we all love it so much. <laughs> a lot of things don't make sense. And as a result, they're pretty hilarious. I mean, to say that this is a bit of a pushover event is probably giving it credit. Too much credit, in fact. This is incredibly easy. Like, I think this event should definitely have some sort of overhaul in a coming update. Whether it be a 1.4.5 thing or a 1.5 thing. If that even ever winds up being a thing. I don't know. I'm just as in the dark about it as you folks are. But, yeah. I definitely think this event could do with a little bit of an overhaul. Maybe give them some proper weapon drops or something. Make it like a proper fully established event, you know? All right. Battle potion it up. And, well, if earlier in the episode was anything to go by, it shouldn't take long for a Martian probe to spawn in. Oh, Martian boys! Come on now. Where's your little probe dude at, eh? Aha! There! You are. Go on, go get your cronies. Let's get this thing underway, shall we? We're going to do this back at base, of course. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Oh, snap. 
If we manage to survive this without dying a single time, I must admit, I'm going to be very surprised. Ah, jeez. There we are. Maybe I need to use a weapon that's got a little bit more range. What do we think, hey? I'm thinking the snowman cannon. Why not? We've got 3,000 bleeding projectiles. Let's make usage of this stuff, shall we? The homing projectiles should be sure to hit something, at least. Maybe we should also have ourselves some buffs going on. That, I think, would be a good idea. Yeah. Everything go boom. <laughs> oh, hell. Here it is. All right. Now is where things start getting a bit interesting. All right, there he is. There's a bunch of rockets trying to fly towards me. I'm actually literally one shot right now. Oh, deep joy. Wait. We're already in second phase? What the? Wow. That's kind of nuts, actually. <laughs> oh, that is really nuts. Please don't die. For the love of God, don't die. Kill this guy. There we are. Oh, laser machine gun. Interesting. See, this is where the snowman cannon really starts to come into its own, folks. It does a lot of damage to the Martian saucer dudes. It does damage to, like, all four bits simultaneously, which I think is just brilliant. And look at that. We just came back from being one shot. Come on! You can't say that my ability to survive hasn't gotten better over the years, folks. Come on! <laughs> oh, I'm chuffed a bit. All right, come on! Let's see if we can get this guy taken out of the game. See what kind of epicness he may or may not drop. There's the Xeno Popper, as a matter of fact. Hey! Uh, oh, we don't have any ammo, though. Okay, never mind. Let's keep going. Got him again! Cosmic Kaki! Excellent! Things you love to see. We now have, like, multiple different types of abilities to infinitely fly Cosmic Kaki. Witch's Broom, Sword Insignia. We've got them all now. What do we think? What's the chances of us actually getting the Electrosphere launcher? If we manage to get that, oh, man. Happy will not cover how excited I'm going to be. Because once again, it will be another episode in a row of good RNG. Like, how often does that happen? We normally get one episode of good RNG, and then the law of averages kicks in. And then the next episode, it's really, really poor RNG. What say we get ourselves something good? Ah, Xeno stuff. Okay, interesting, interesting. 80% of the way through the event here, folks. I must admit, if we don't manage to get the Electrosphere launcher, I'm probably not going to actively go for it. I just want to get this event done for the sake of being a completionist and just doing it because why not? If we so happen to get a weapon or something cool from it, then sure, that's epic. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. All right, looks like we've got ourselves potentially one more chance here, folks. So let's see if we can get nice and lucky here. Wait a minute. We ain't getting lasered here today. No, 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 no. We ain't having none of that nonsense. What we will do is absolutely wreck the heck out of this guy. And that totally rhymed. <laughs> ah, brilliant. All right, come on. One thing I may do after this event, I may go ahead and try to take down the Empress of Light until we get ourselves the event tide. I mean, why not, right? We have managed to take down the Empress of Light already, so clearly we have the ability to take it down, so why not go for it? What we have managed to get, though, and I did notice it, don't worry, we actually did indeed get the Electrosphere Launcher. So once again, it looks like RNG may actually be on our side for once in our lives again. Ah, oh, what an episode this has been, though, eh? Let's go see how many bits of gel our little farm has been producing here, huh? 388? Oh, man, that is a good amount of ammo right now. We're back up to over a 1,000 ammo for our beautiful elf melder. Are you kidding me? I've been using the greedy ring this whole time? Oh, wow. Okay, turns out I'm a colossal doofus brain. <laughs> Doesn't even matter, though. We've still managed to take down everything today with... A lot of ease. So, you know, what can I say? All right, believe it or not, you can summon in the Empress of Light outside of the Hallowed Biome. You just have to be extraordinarily quick about it. So let's do it. Boom, boom. Ah, oh, bugger, I missed it. Okay, do you know what? <laughs> I didn't do a very good job of showcasing that. Let's do that again. 
Uh, this time we'll switch to our pickaxe. Boom! There we are. We got there in the finish, didn't we? All right. Come on, man. It's Emperor's of Light time again. We're looking pretty much exclusively for the event tide. If we manage to get it, I'm going to be very, very, very happy indeed. Hell yeah. All right. Another little dashy. Then it's going to be a whole bunch of stars. Whole bunch of shooting stars. Uh, okay. A little bit of a dashy dashy. Then it's going to be the lines. Another dashy, more projectiles, and then after this, I think it's going to be shooting stars, then a dash, then some more sun phase, I do believe. Uh, there we are. Who says your boy doesn't learn, eh, folks? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we may just about have this in the bag. And in fact, there we go. Bye-bye, Empress. <laughs> you big old doofus brain. What do we got here? The kaleidoscope. Nice as it may be, it's not what we're looking for. So I'll tell you what, let's pretty much just skip to the ends of all of the rest of these fights here. Uh, let's do this thing. Boom, down you go, and boom, down you go. All right, come on, Empress number three. And there she goes again. There she goes again. All right, beautiful. Eventa, yeah! All right. We done did it, folks. We done did it. We finally have an excuse to change over to our bow damage helmet. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I don't know about you folks, but I think this episode has just been absolutely stellar. Everything has gone right. Like, how often does that happen? Everything has gone right. Wait, Empress Wings? Aren't these better than the Fishron Wings? Do you know what? I might have to wiki this real quick. Give me a second. Alrighty, a quick look on the wiki seems to suggest that the Empress Wings actually have slightly more vertical speed, but they have less flight time than that of the Fish Run Wings. Now, at this point in the game, I feel like flight duration is paramount, so I'm going to go ahead and continue opting for the Fish Run Wings. But yeah, pretty cool that we've got the Empress Wings. Not very often we get those bad boys, eh? So then, what else is left to say other then thank you so much for watching if you folks have enjoyed today's action-packed epic rng episode do be sure to head down beneath the video and spend a second to drop a like i'd really appreciate it hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content but for now my friends thank you so much for watching do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you folks in the next episode Bye bye